I sing? You are gracious in my You're exalted in my Okay, watch it, song. I'm ready. Oh, that's fine. You got it, you got it. You got it. Gracious in majesty, you're the mighty and humble king. You have always been, you will always be. You are crowned with my sin and shame. You're enthroned in the highest praise. You have always. constant forevermore you're exalted and still adored you have always been you will always be you're surrendered in victory you have risen to life in me you will always be our cross, his banner over us, for the Lord our God is ever glorious, and the heaven shouts declaring over us, that the Lord our God is ever glorious.
the second verse and then lead the melody of the third verse. And just have I'm really confused.
Get a fresh haircut. Just for me. Just for me. As up, Tyler. Any guys?
Good afternoon. Please rise and join us in singing our entrance hymn, O oh God Beyond All Praising. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your Welcome to Archbishop Carroll's 50th anniversary closing class. My name is Frank Fox, and it's my honor and distinct privilege to serve as the president of this school. We are so happy to have you with us today, with special thanks to the priests, sisters, Christian brothers, and His Excellency Bishop Fitzgerald, for joining us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. 
through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles. And he reported to them how he had seen the Lord and that he had spoken to him. And how, in Damascus, he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord, and with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Thank you. 
that you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity letter of St. John. Children, come let us love, not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him. And whatever our hearts condemn, for God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments rena rena remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. <laughs> to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me 
as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Today we gather in thanksgiving to give glory to God for 50 years of productive and fruitful Catholic education in, in, initiated in 1967 with the founding of Archbishop John Carroll High School aptly named for the first bishop of the church in America, a man of piety, patriotism, and intellect. At a critical time in the founding of our nation, Archbishop Carroll promoted spiritual and cultural growth, which continue to be an essential part of the mission of Archbishop John Carroll High School today. Since its founding in 1967, as separate high schools for boys and girls. Carroll has continued to evolve and grow and at the same time remain faithful to its mission and core Catholic values. In the midst of changes in our culture and in Catholic education, we thank God today for the inspiration, service, and witness of two religious communities who were the pioneers in initiating the separate high schools in 1967, the Christian brothers and the sisters servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, as well as the sisters of St. Joseph, the sisters of mercy, and the sisters of the Holy Child, and the many priests from the Archdiocese of Philadelphia who joined them in this fruitful enterprise in Catholic education over the years. The growing presence and contributions of a talented and dedicated lay women and men has ensured that the mission of providing excellent, faith-based, value-centered Catholic education at Archbishop Carroll High School is alive and well today. Over the years, change and creative adaptation have marked the relatively brief history of this Catholic community of secondary education. In 1986, Carroll became a co-educational school when the separate boys and girls schools were merged into one. In 1993, with the institution of an open enrollment policy for all archdiocesan high schools, the student population of Carroll became more diverse, representing more than 75 archdiocesan parishes and communities. A hallmark of its academic quality over the years is that 98% of Carroll graduates have consistently attended four-year colleges over the years. Strong athletic and co-curricular programs to enable students to utilize their gifts and talents beyond the classroom have also been an integral part of the Carroll educational experience. Particularly significant 
for the Catholic identity and mission of this school was the initiation of the motto, Carol Cares, reflecting the numerous school and community service activities which mark the daily life in and around the school. Representative of this is the beautiful and caring interaction of Carol students with students attending St. Catherine's Day School, which moved its high school division to Archbishop Carroll in the late 1990s. Particularly heartening has been the strong alumni support in time, talent, and treasure that continues to be an integral part of the Carroll story. Most recently, the establishment of a board of specified jurisdiction to actively and meaningfully participate in the governance of Archbishop Carroll High School and guide its future is a barometer of hope that the fruitful history of this Catholic secondary school is in good hands and working to ensure that Carroll's fruitful legacy will continue into the future. We like to say in Catholic education that our goal is to educate the whole person, body, mind, and spirit, as we thank God today for the manner in which this noble goal has been achieved through Catholic education at Archbishop John Carroll High School over the past 50 years, Jesus provides essential advice to us as individuals and as a Carroll community in the Gospel of John today as we look to the future. Ultimately, Catholic education is centered on a person, Jesus Christ who is the divine teacher, the way, the truth, and the life, who teaches us to live with faith, commitment, and charity in this world so that we might share the gift of eternal life in his kingdom. Using a parable from nature in our gospel today, Jesus reminds each of us, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me, you can do nothing. A particularly significant recent event in Carroll's history was the 2015 commissioning and dedication of the statue of the welcoming Jesus by the renowned artist Lawrence J. Nolan, a 1983 Carroll graduate, which stands at the entrance of this property to remind all who enter that this is a school whose purpose is to educate young people for this world and the next as followers of Christ, who will contribute to making this world a better place and one day, with the grace of God, come to the kingdom of which Jesus speaks for those who persevere in faith. St. John, in our second reading for today's Mass, urges us to take our lives and our mission of Catholic education seriously when he says, children, Let us love not in word or speech alone, but in deed and in truth. For the ways in which so many have loved in deed and truth in providing Catholic education to young people over the past 50 years at Archbishop John Carroll High School, we give thanks today. For the ways we will continue to do this in the future, if we remain rooted in the divine teacher, Jesus Christ, the Lord promises we will continue to produce much fruit in our mission of Catholic education. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. 
and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence and trust that God is the vine and we are the branches, let us bring our prayers and petitions before him. For our Pope Francis, our Bishop Charles, Bishop Fitzgerald, and all priests, religious deacons, and those entrusted with leadership in the church, that they may encourage us by word and example to live and share the Easter message of Christian hope and resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our government leaders and all world leaders, that they be peacemakers in our world and build a culture of respect of, for all human life from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us who celebrate the 50th anniversary of Archbishop Carroll High School today, that God continue to bless and sustain her to continue to teach Catholic education and make faithful disciples and good citizens for God and country, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have taught or have given generous service to Archbishop John Carroll High School and the St. Catherine Day School community these last 50 years, that we are thankful for their gifts that they have given out of love for the school and doing God's work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are suffering in mind, body, or heart, that they may be protected from their afflictions by the divine physician and be healed of their illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially these last 50 years, all of our deceased Carol alumni, teachers, benefactors, priests, religious sisters, Christian brothers, and staff, that they may be received into heaven with all the angels and saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you generously give us what we truly need. Hear our prayers and give us the wisdom and courage to live in the light of Christ, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Spouse, St. Joseph, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints and whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing hope. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop, his auxiliary bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, <coughs> gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kindness and peace to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, Joe. Peace, Charlie. Peace, Father. Peace, Paul. Peace, Michael. Peace, Tom. Thank you. Peace, Bill. Peace, John. Peace, Tom. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, sister. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ, sister. The body of Christ. Take all I have in these hands and multiply. God, all that I am, and find my heart on the altar again. Set me on fire, set me on fire. Oh, take all I 
having these sins and multiply the body of Christ. God, all that I am and find my heart the body of Christ. on the, the altar of Christ. again, set me on fire, Christ, set me on fire. Here I am, am God, arms wide open. Pouring out my life, gracefully broken. My heart stands in awe of your name, your mighty love stands strong to the end you will fulfill your purpose for me you won't forsake me you will be with me here i am god arms wide open pouring out my life Gracefully broken mm. All to Jesus now all, all to Jesus now Holding nothing back Holding nothing back I surrender, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender, here I am, God, arms wide open. out my life gracefully
people of all ages gathered round the gable wall, pouring humble men and women, little children that you called. We are gathered here before you, and our hearts are just the same, filled with joy at such a vision as we praise your name. Golden Rose, Queen of our land, of our cares and troubles cease as we kneel with love before you. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I'd like to thank everyone again for attending this afternoon and supporting Archbishop Carroll. I would also like to recognize and thank the Carroll 50 Committee for organizing this weekend's events. If I may ask the co-chairs to stand, Hank and Jane Mullady, Mullaney, class of 1976, and Kevin Connors, class of 78. Thank you so much. The undertaking took a village, and we are so grateful for everyone for their time and talent. In a very special way, I would like to thank His Excellency Bishop Fitzgerald for celebrating our 50th anniversary Mass today, and for your complete dedication and devotion to the Catholic faith and Catholic education. Bishop, there has not been a school year where you have not played a key role with your presence in our life here at Carroll, our community considers you a true and caring friend. Thank you. <laughs> at this time, if the students are ready, I'd like to bring them out to present a gift to the bishop.
Bishop Fitzgerald, thank you for being here today. It is a true blessing to have you here to celebrate this historic day in Carroll's history. We thank you for everything you do for our school and our church. To thank you for helping us celebrate this 50th anniversary, we present you with this gift. Thank you very much. Good job today. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, gentlemen. I'd like to also thank the concelebrating priests and the altar servers. A big special thanks to our very own Father Mike for organi organizing this beautiful liturgy today. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Naturally, thank you to our choir and musicians led by our very talented mentors, Mr. Triplett, and Mr. Larimer, thank you so much. Thank you to the representatives of Faith in the Future and the Office of Catholic, Edu Catholic Education here today. I would especially like to thank the Chief Academic Officer and Secretary of Catholic Education, Sister Marie McDermott, IHM, for her commitment and support to Archbishop Carroll. Thank you, Sister. Very importantly, we acknowledge and thank deeply the religious, including the Christian brothers who built the foundation for the boys' school and the orders of women religious who built the foundation for the girls' schools. Also, the 50 years of service by the faculty, staff, and administration. You have all assisted in building the Carroll legacy. Thank you. So the bishop mentioned 1967 as the start for Archbishop Carroll, but actually it was yesterday that was a very special day for this school. At precisely 2 p.m., we celebrated our birthday of 50 years. I would like to share with you excerpts of the program of that 1968 dedication. The solemn blessing and laying of cornerstones of the Archbishop Carroll High Schools, Matson Ford Road, Radnor, Pennsylvania, by His Excellency, the Most Reverend Luigi Romandi, Apostol Apostolic Delegate to the United States, Sunday, April 28, 1968, 2 p.m. His Eminence, John Cardinal Kroll, Archbishop of Philadelphia, presiding. Assisting in that ceremony in 1968 were several dignitaries and religious. We are blessed today to have one of those attendees with us. The very first principal of Archbishop John Carroll's High School for Girls, the Reverend Bernard J. Trinity. So deserved, so, so deserved. Thank you all who came together in prayer to conclude Carol's 50th anniversary. Please know we acknowledge and stand on the shoulders of the talented alumni, administrators, staff, and teachers for the past 50 years. We remain committed to excellence in the spiritual, academic, and social development of our exceptional students for the next 50 years. Go Patriots. Thank you. The bishop mentioned the emergence and uh, significance of the board of directors in each of the 17 schools of secondary education. And Carol's no exception. 
Without them, we would not be where we are today. It's a great honor to introduce the chairperson of the Board of Directors, Mr. John Goldschmidt, class of 1976, with his closing remarks. Thank you, Frank. You know, as I uh, approached the uh, lectern, uh, I felt a, the air go out of the room. <laughs> because I knew, and I know what it, likes, it feels like at the end of Mass to see anyone approach the altar. <laughs> I assure you I'm not here to ask you for money, <laughs> but I'm not going to turn it away either if you <laughs> decide to hand some over. But with that, I'd, I'd also like to reiterate some of Frank's points. Uh, first and foremost, thank you so much, Bishop Fitzgerald, for a beautiful ceremony, beautiful closing ceremony. And to Father Mike for arranging for that. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I have been uh, the chair uh, of the board for several years now. I joined the board back in about 10 years ago. Um, and a lot has changed over that, that time period. But the one thought that I wanted to leave you with today is that never in our 50 years has the future of Catholic education in Philadelphia, and particularly here at Carroll, been so promising. One of the treasures of the Philadelphia region is a strong, vibrant archdiocesan Catholic school system. We are blessed. Many of us in this room today are the products of that treasure. But times change, and we must constantly seek to improve. God would have us do nothing else. In furtherance of our mission to provide a Catholic education to every child who deserves one, we have been blessed with some of the finest leadership that the Archdiocese has ever known. Therefore, at this time of our 50th anniversary, I would like to acknowledge those leaders, both past and present, who are helping us to achieve that goal. First, to our God. It is only through him that we are given the gifts to do his work. Next, to Archbishop Chapu and Bishop Fitzgerald for the vision in creating a new educational hierarchy through Faith in the Future Foundation and the Office of Catholic Education. To the Faith in the Future Foundation, led by Edward Hanway, in providing a deep bench of expertise to lead our schools. To the staff of, Catholic staff of the Office of Catholic Education, and particularly to David McGee, our Chief Financial Officer, and Sister Maureen McDermott, our Chief Academic Officer, who have provided to us such invaluable counsel. To our Board of Directors, both past and present, with those, will those present from the Board of Directors, both past and present, please rise and be recognized. And to their spouses, mm -hmm. please rise and be recognized. Mm -hmm. To our president, Mr. Francis E. Fox, and Francesca. Without Frank and Francesca, adept leadership and tenacity over the past five years, 
I shudder to think where we would be as a school today. Frank, Francesca, please. And finally, and purposely left last, because they are the bedrock of our mission, to the faculty and staff, both present and past, please stand and be recognized. You are on the front line. You deliver God's message of faith and education to our students. You are the ones developing the saints for the future. Thank you for the first 50. Now on to the next 50. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon each of you and your families and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join us in singing our recessional hymn, The Festival Canticle.
us onward through each bright new day. Joy in our learning, peace in our minds, love in our hearts, Archbishop Carol forever. Glory and honor, kingdom and truth. We shall be loyal, red and white, and pray. God lead us onward through each bright new day. Thank you, kids. Everyone, please join us immediately after the Mass uh, for a reception in the East Gym. The St. Catherine kids have made a lot of goodies, so please join us. Thank you.